Hi guys, welcome back to Learn with Lord Haas and in this tutorial we will cover how to calculate gross annual value of a house property. As you all are aware that in under house property head, income is taxable on the basis of gross annual value of the house property. So let us understand first how to calculate this gross annual value. Uh, you can see on the left hand side of your screen that there is one chart depicting the clear calculation of gross annual value which says gross annual value of a house property is higher of two amounts. What are these two figures? First is reasonable expected rent and other is actual rent received or receivable. So first let us understand what is reasonably expected rent, a rent at which a property might reasonable expected to be let out from year to year basis. Uh, I have one property and it can be let out for every year at what rate or what rent it is called reasonably expected rent how much you can expect reasonably okay on annual basis from a property is called reasonable expected rent then how to calculate this there is a simple calculation to do this it is calculated higher of municipal valuation and fair rent but subject to our maximum to the standard rent okay so now the question will arise in your mind how to calculate these three crafts like municipal valuation, fair rent and standard rent, how to calculate it. So let me take you to the uh, brief about these three terms and in another tutorial I will cover municipal valuation, fair rent and standard rent separately. So here we go. Municipal valuation is just a value determined by your municipal authority as a uh, expected rent from a property that is uh, earning capacity of property in, on annual basis. So this is a, a particular uh, rate you can see uh, or you can say is defined by your municipal authorities. Another is fair rent. A fair rent means uh, a rent which can be fetched by the properties similar to the, your property in your lo lo locality or uh, in the area around your property. So let's say I am in, uh, I am residing in Andheri. So whatever other properties in my neighborhood are getting, uh, what rent they are getting can be considered as fair rent for my property. Okay. If another, if uh, any property just opposite to my building is getting thirty thousand rent, then it can be considered as fair rent for my property also. Okay. So it is. It's, it should not be checked with with one property. It should be checked with uh, similar properties, some few properties you can take and get the average or get the fair rent. Okay. Apart from this, the one term is standard rent, where wherever rent control act is applicable. So wherever it, it, it is applicable, so in that rent control act, what whatever maximum rent which a person can pay. Okay, a person can recover from its uh, tenant under Rent Control Act is considered as standard rent. So, while calculating reasonable expected rent, you have to take municipal valuation and fair rent, whichever is higher but limited to standard rent. Let's say municipal valuation is 10 rupees. Okay, it's not coming over here, I am just deleting it. I will just put it here. If it is 10 rupees, okay. If fair rent is 15 rupees, fair enough. And standard rent is 12 rupees. In that case, you have to take higher of these two terms that is, municipal valuation of fair rent, whichever is higher is 15, then but limited to standard rent. The maximum rent which you can recover in case you have some disputes with your tenant, which is given under the standard rent act okay Stand, standard rent control act then in that case you have to take the uh, value limited to that standard rent okay in that in this case the reasonable expected rent would be 12 rupees 15 or 10 whichever is higher but limited to 12 okay are you getting me okay moving ahead to calculation of rent actually received or receivable it is just simple rent of the previous year or part of the previous year. Most important after deducting unrealized rent. Okay. 
you could not realize some of the part of your rent from your tenant but this is very specific there are four conditions which we will discuss in another tutorials other if there the four conditions are satisfied simultaneously then only you can get this deduction of unrealized rent from your rent actual received or receivable otherwise you won't get any deduction you have to take only rent of the previous year or part of the previous year okay so what is unrealized rent and just uh, giving you a brief about this uh, let's say i have a tenant so uh, he he stayed my in my uh, flat on my rented flat for about five or six months then he left out and he has not given me any rent so he's not also is not traceable i have filed the uh, legal cases legal case against him also but i am not able to get my rent back so in that case those five months period rent would be considered as unrealized rent okay so here we go we have actually calculated rent actually received or receivable net of unrealized rent further on you have now you have to compare these two amounts higher of a or b a is the reasonably expected rent and b is rent actually received or receivable higher of two you have to take and then if do you have some loss due to vacancy the property was vacant for a few period or for a certain period in a year then the loss due to that loss of rent due to that vacancy will be deducted from higher of these two amount so once you will do that you will arrive at your gross annual value and once you have the gross annual value then you can easily find out all the other things and calculate the income from the house property okay because what happens is in this tutorial under earlier tutorial we have already covered how to calculate income from house property but in this tutorial we will cover how to calculate the gross annual value once we have arrived this figure the all the other figures are direct figures there is no calculations at all so i think this tutorial will make sense uh, for calculation of gross annual value of a house property which has been rented or which has deemed to be let out for the purpose of income tax so thank you very much if you like this tutorial just come on and subscribe us uh, we need your feedback to improvise ourselves uh, and hopefully uh, this uh, tutorial will make sense for all of them who are academically uh, doing the uh, house property hand or who wish to have practical calculation of house property income so thank you very much